Rebus, Alter Ego, Larry Trainer, Eleanor Paul. Occupation, Trainer, Former Test Pilot, Later Adventurer, Paul, Doctor. Known Relatives, Trainer, Unnamed Mother, Paul, Unnamed Husband. Group Affiliation, The Doom Patrol. Base of Operations, Happy Harbour. First Appearance, Negative Man, My Greatest Adventure 80, June 1963. Rebus, Doom Patrol, second series, number 19, February 1989. Height, 5 foot 10 and a half inches. Weight, 180 pounds. Eyes, unknown. Hair, unknown. History. Rebus is one of the most unusual beings currently operating as a superhero. A half man, half woman, who houses within her body a sentient spirit. A radioactive negative energy creature that manifests itself in the form of a crackling negative energy jet black wraith. The origins of the negative energy are unknown. Apparently it lay dormant beyond Earth's ionosphere for an unspecified time until test pilot Larry Trainer lost control of the experimental rocket plane, taking it through Earth's radiation belts. The negative energy took shelter within his body. Hours later, when Trainer landed, he glowed with radiation to such an extent that his very bones were visible through his now transparent skin. He was immediately placed in isolation, where he remained for many months, until Dr. Niles Calder was able to encase Trainer's body in special radiation-proof plastic bandages. Trainer soon learned that he could project the negative energy beam from his body for intervals lasting 60 seconds, during which the beam became an extension of himself. Not only could Trainer command it and its powers, but anything the being saw or heard was carried back to its host. Called upon by Dr. Calder to use this new paranormal ability in the cause of good, Trainer, or Negative Man, joined Calder's team of superheroes, the Doom Patrol. During the patrol's last battle, when the team was apparently destroyed, Trainer's final act was to release the negative beam, which was subsequently captured by the Doom Patrol's enemies and encased in a lake cocoon, where it lay dormant for some time. The negative beam was finally released when another plane, piloted by Soviet Valentina Vostok, crash-landed and destroyed the lake cocoon. It immediately leapt into Vostok's body, turning her into a negative woman. At first, Vostok showed no signs of radioactivity and was able to transform her physical body into that of the negative beings, retaining all its powers. Eventually, Vostok was forced to sway herself in special bandages to prevent radiation leakage. Some time later, Trainer was revived from his death-like state. Though powerless, his body contained residual energy that forced him to remain bandaged and left him weakened. Realising the only cure for his condition was a reunited with the negative energy, Trainer enlisted the aid of a supervillain named Reactron to steal it back from Vostok. Though he was able to retain it for only a short time, its presence cured his condition. The negative energy soon appeared again before Trainer and actually spoke, claiming to have lived in silence for many years. He told Trainer that he intended to initiate an alchemical marriage, the ultimate fusion of man and woman. In a blinding flash of light, the energy being Trainer and Trainer's doctor Eleanor Paul were fused into a single radioactive being, calling itself Rebus. The man and woman now held the memories of both Paul and Trainer, but became a being unique unto itself, cold and detached, frequently speaking in both Trainer's and Paul's voices. Rebus was then recruited by Niles Calder to be a member of the Doom Patrol's newest incarnation. Powers and Weapons Rebus can, at will, release from her body an unknown form of black radioactive energy that generally takes the shape of a human being, mentally monitoring whatever the energy sees or hears. The energy has superhuman strength, can move at a speed of light, and can disrupt matter, causing explosions or other destructive effects. It cannot pass through solid lead. When containing Rebus' body, the negative energy allows Rebus to fly. Additionally, it gives Heer slight telepathic abilities and enhanced perception, allowing Heer to sense future events with varying degrees of clarity. 